This presentation provides information about upgrading to vCenter Server 5.1 and is based on Knowledge Base Article 2021193. This presentation assumes that you have read the vSphere Upgrade Guide. The guide contains definitive information. If there is a discrepancy between the guide and this presentation, assume that the guide is correct. Because each environment is different, many upgrade decisions require knowledge and understanding beyond the scope of this presentation. For more detailed information about your installation, see the vSphere Upgrade Guide. Review the VMware vSphere 5.1 release notes for known issues or special installation notes. Note the following points before upgrading. VMware supports in-place upgrades on 64-bit systems from vCenter Server 4.x and vCenter Server 5.0.x to vCenter Server 5.1. vCenter Server 5.1 does not support directly migrating an existing vCenter server to a new machine during an upgrade to 5.1. You can migrate an existing vCenter server to a new machine during an upgrade to version 5.0 then perform an in-place upgrade from version 5.0 to 5.1. See Upgrading to vCenter Server on a Different Machine in the vSphere Upgrade Guide. vCenter Server 5.1 can manage ESX or ESXi 4.x and ESXi 5.0.x hosts in the same cluster with ESXi 5.1 hosts. vCenter Server 5.1 cannot manage ESX 2.x or 3.x hosts. vSphere 5.1 introduces the vCenter Single Sign-On Service as part of the vCenter Server Management Infrastructure. For more information, see Comparing Behavior of vCenter Single Sign-On with Earlier Versions of vCenter Server. Create a vCenter Single Sign-On Database unless you plan to install the bundled database. Create a vCenter Single Sign-On Database unless you plan to install the bundled database. When you upgrade to vCenter Server 5.1, the upgrade process installs vCenter Single Sign-On first and then upgrades vCenter Server. You must install or update these components in this order. vCenter Single Sign-On, Inventory Service, and vCenter Server. The same installer will run for vCenter Server 5.0 installation or upgrade. The installer will detect if vCenter Server is already installed. If an already installed version is supported, then an upgrade will be performed. In upgrades to vCenter Server versions earlier than vCenter Server 5.1, both the local operating system users and Active Directory users that are registered with vCenter Server before the upgrade continue to work with the upgraded vCenter Server. This behavior changes in vCenter Server 5.1. The vSphere 5.1 single sign-on feature simplifies the login process for the cloud infrastructure suite. You can log into the management infrastructure a single time through the vSphere web client or the API. You will be able to perform operations across all components of the cloud infrastructure suite without having to log into the components separately. Single sign-on operates across all cloud infrastructure suite components that support this feature. Authentication by the vCenter Single Sign-On makes the VMware Cloud Infrastructure Platform more secure by allowing the vSphere software components to communicate with each other through a secure token exchange mechanism, instead of requiring each component to authenticate a user separately with a direct service like Active Directory. When you upgrade to vCenter Server 5.1, the upgrade process installs vCenter Single Sign-On first and then upgrades vCenter Server. For more information about configuring vCenter Single Sign-On, see the vSphere Security Guide. You can install vCenter Single Sign-On, Inventory Service, and vCenter Server on the same host machine, or on different machines. The vCenter Server system is a physical or virtual machine with access to a supported database. The vCenter Server system must meet specific requirements, and the vCenter Server machines must meet the hardware requirements.
vCenter Server requires the Microsoft.NET 3.5 SP1 framework. If it is not installed on your system, the vCenter Server installer installs it. The .NET 3.5 SP1 installation might require internet connectivity to download more files. If you plan to use the Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express database that is bundled with vCenter Server, Microsoft Windows Installer MSI version 4.5 is required on your system. You can download MSI 4.5 from the Microsoft website. You can also install it directly from the vCenter Server autorun.exe installer. For the vCenter single sign-on installer to automatically discover Active Directory identity sources, verify that the following conditions are met. The Active Directory identity source must be able to authenticate the user who is logged in to perform the single sign-on installation. The DNS of the single sign-on server host machine must contain both lookup and reverse lookup entries for the domain controller of the Active Directory. For example, pinging mydomain.com should return the domain controller IP address for my domain. Similarly, the ping minus a command for the IP address should return the domain controller hostname. Avoid trying to correct name resolution issues by editing the host files. Instead, make sure that the DNS server is correctly set up. The system clock of the single sign on server host machine must be synchronized with the clock of the domain controller. Make sure your database requirements and patch levels are compliant. Configuration and pre-requirements may have already been done with the previous installation of vCenter Server. Contact your database administrator if you are unsure if these procedures have been completed. vCenter Server databases require a UTF code set. The vCenter server system must have a 64-bit DSN. This requirement applies to all supported databases. You also need to ensure that you have created a full backup of your database before proceeding with the vCenter upgrade. For a vCenter server upgrade, you will be asked to authenticate with database credentials. For vCenter server 5.1 upgrade, select Upgrade the existing vCenter server database. You will also have to confirm that you have backed up the vCenter server database and backed up the SSL certificates. The upgrade will not continue until you select this option. The machine on which you install or upgrade the vCenter server must have a computer name that is 15 characters or fewer. If your database is located on the same machine on which vCenter server will be installed, and you have recently changed the name of this machine to comply with the name length requirement, Make sure the vCenter server DSN is configured to communicate with the new name in the machine. Changing the vCenter server computer name can impact database communication if the database server is on the same computer with vCenter server. The name change has no effect on communication with remote databases. You can skip this procedure if the database is remote. Make sure the database server is running and make sure that the vCenter server computer name is updated in the domain name service. To test this connection, ping the computer name. For example, if the computer name is host-1.company.com, run the following command in Windows Command Prompt. If you can ping the computer name, the name is updated in DNS. Before upgrading, consider these points. Prepare for the vCenter server installation by recording the values that the vCenter server system requires. If you do not intend to use evaluation mode, make sure that you have valid license keys for all purchased functionality. License keys from vSphere versions prior to version 5.0 are not supported in vCenter server 5.x. If you do not have a license key, you can install an evaluation mode and use the vSphere client or vSphere web client to enter the license key later. Close all instances of the VMware Infrastructure Client, the vSphere Client, and the vSphere Web Client. Before you install or upgrade any vSphere product, synchronize the clocks of all machines on the vSphere network. In-place upgrade to vCenter Server 5.1 is not supported on Microsoft Windows XP.
Ensure that your vCenter Server 5.1 is capable of running on a 64-bit operating system. Ensure that you have made a backup of your vCenter Server database. If the vCenter Server upgrade fails, no automatic rollback occurs to the previous vCenter Server version. The data migration tool is not supported for vCenter Server 5.1. You cannot directly migrate an existing vCenter Server to a new machine during an upgrade to version 5.1. You can migrate an existing vCenter server to a new machine during an upgrade to version 5.0 and then perform an in-place upgrade from version 5.0 to 